we've uh, at Orbit Technologies have developed a, a very innovative uh, clean technology uh, for the extraction and purification of a variety of minerals uh, and metals from a variety of feedstocks, either natural resources coming from the mining sector or a waste feedstock uh, uh, coming from different, different waste deposits. The uh, differentiator of our technology is that we extract all of the valuable elements from that feedstock and are, end up with a uh, very little waste uh, as compared to traditional technologies that only extract one or two valuable elements and end up with quite a bit of waste uh, that is stored in waste ponds. We're approaching commercialization through three different business segments. The first being our specialty product segment, the second being waste monetization, and the third being our commodities initiative. Specialty products is essentially the, the production of high purity alumina and scandium and gallium. Our high purity alumina facility is under construction right now and we're aiming uh, to have it uh, finalized and commercial in commercial production by the end of this year in Q4. Following will be our waste monetization initiative where we will work with partners and owners of the waste such as red mud and fly ash to decrease their environmental and economic liability and pull out the value that is present in all of their waste. Finally, and what was our original focus at Orbit is our commodities initiative and we'll use our technology there working with partners such as Glencore to produce smelter grade alumina and other minerals from our properties, our mining properties that we own in eastern Quebec. Waste monetization opportunity is huge. I'll just give you a few numbers of, uh, and talk about two different uh, waste types. Red mud, which is produced uh, in the alumina industry uh, through the historically used Bayer process. There are about 120 million tons per year produced and 3 billion tons stored globally. Uh, and red mud uh, contains alumina, uh, hematite, titanium, magnesium, rare earths, and rare metals that are in quite high demand. So great value within this one feedstock or this one waste. On the other side, we can talk about fly ash, which is the combustion product or what's left over from burning coal in power generation. About 570 million tons produced per year, once again stored in a waste pond, and it also has a lot of significantly valuable elements. Once again, alumina, uh, titanium, magnesium, and the rare earths and rare metals that I spoke about uh, earlier. So both of these wastes have significant opportunity for us. Our technology is quite unique in that it's the only one uh, that will take a, a feedstock, uh, be it any feedstock, and will extract all of the values or all of the valuable minerals in that feedstock. Competing technologies or other technologies will only extract one or two valuable elements and have uh, quite an environmental impact in the waste that must be stored. Uh, so we really don't have any competition out there. We know of other companies that try and extract the rare earths, the scandium or the gallium. Uh, that's quite a non-economic or an economically challenging process because it's quite costly as you're going after only one valuable element. We extract them all, making the process much, much more environmentally beneficial and economically attractive. Our TSX listing has been quite important in allowing us to pass from a technology development company into commercialization. Uh, we're in the last months of building and commissioning a $120 million high purity alumina facility and we've been extremely successful in raising the funds required to complete that facility over the last couple of years.